uh, we're gonna be revealing the wheels we put on in this video and uh, a few other things we've been doing to it uh, going to get a few shots of it right now and, uh, it may be a little loud in here having a slight drone but just bear with us and uh we'll see you. All right, so we made it back to the shop after getting a few videos of the truck with the wheels on it we decided to run and in our process of picking a wheel for this thing uh, at first we had two or three options we kind of went back and forth on and then we actually seen a picture of a truck that had these on it and then once we seen that I couldn't I couldn't put another wheel on I had to put that same wheel and it's uh, I'd say it's a pretty aggressive looking wheel I mean kind of a pro touring look and a road course autocross a lot of people run these on the autocross it's just a real aggressive look yeah it has a man it really it really sets the truck off i think it you know the wheels make the truck on this and so uh you know we're not going to wait any longer we're just going to go ahead and get to it here's the wheels we picked <laughs> If you're not familiar with the wheel it's a rocket racing wheel it's called the attack and I mean like I said I personally don't think you can you can't beat this wheel in this truck and then a lot of trucks are running these now they're starting to it is on a little bit more of a pricey side of the wheel it's not like a is this going to be more than your typical US mag yeah it's going to be these are actually semi forged wheels there are a forged barrel with a cast center. Yeah. And so uh, they're they're lighter wheels than. Like yeah, they're they're extremely light. Wheel. And uh, the finish we ran on this, I think it's called titanium, is what they call it, which is just a brushed look on it. They don't have any powder coat on it. But that it is cleared, so. Yeah, you can get them with uh, a gray face on it or a bronze, and I'm I'm sure they'll do whatever color you want if you ask them to. You probably have to pay extra for that, but. I mean, they're a really good looking set of wheels, I think. And so up front, we're running a 20 by eight and a half on a 255-45 tire. And on the back, we're running a 20 by 10 on a 295-40. So I think the tire is about a little over 11 and a half inches wide. So it's it's a slightly bigger tire. I mean, it's got a, it's got a pretty good dish to it. And so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very satisfied with them. I would, I mean, you could put these on any, everything in here and you still wouldn't get tired of looking at them. No. So, uh, just overall with that wheel, I'm, yeah, I'm really impressed with it. Beyond it's, pleased. Yeah. And so um, where we actually got these from, um, we got them through a dealer of rocket racing wheels. We went through wheel 411 out of just outside of Tupelo, Mississippi, and so he done the wheel and tire setup package for us. And uh, I mean, nothing. I mean, you can't you can't say nothing bad about him. Great guy, yeah. great business. So uh, everything went well with that. I know Holly uh, sells these also, and so uh, I mean you can just pick them up. But other than that, I mean you can't you can't beat these wheels. So. The back wheel, it just bolts right in, no problem. The front though, what we had to do for the stock rotors on this truck, you know, the rotor and the hub is made together on these. And so the wheel would not fully clear on the hub. Like the wheel hub would not set on the truck hub completely. So now if you had a quarter inch spacer, which we had to run on this. For a little while, but See, these are actually designed for cars. That's one of the main reasons you don't see a lot of trucks run them. quarter inch spacer when we first got these wheels, just to put them on here. And so we didn't, we done 
not a whole lot of highway driving with that. We just got them to bolt on there, but anyway, so we had to take the rotors to a machine shop. He trimmed the front edge of them and then they fit perfect now. So, and I've seen a lot of people also that run these wheels that don't run the center cap. And I'm thinking it's maybe for that reason. And so the center cap though, we trimmed it out to where it fits perfect. It, it hadn't fell out, so it's it's pretty snug in there, and uh, so that's that's really the only downfall yeah, that's of the these wheels. Thing. But other than that, like and, I said, there's. I mean, if you're running a you know an aftermarket spindle that uses a modern, more of like a modern style hub, they should clear that no problem. So it's just whatever you're going to put them with. Okay, as far as the rest of the truck not just the wheels we've done a lot of stuff to this truck since the last video we had on it uh the body of the truck you can i'm sure you can tell on camera it's a whole lot shinier it should be slicker and so uh we've hit it with a buffer we didn't get too aggressive with a compound went on it and then we done a foam pad a machine polish and then had two more steps after that and so it it come out good for what it is which i'm sure it was painted Probably in the 90s, Probably early in the 90s. Late 90s, early 90s possibly. So, so uh, for 30 years, single stage paint, I'd say it looks pretty good. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't wet sand it because I don't like wet sanding a whole lot of stuff that we didn't paint because you don't know how much is on there, or what areas. Maybe some may be a little more thin than others and unless you're the one painting it. I mean, obviously edges, you have to wash them because you'll burn through on an edge, but if you're not careful and uh, we just avoided all that and just hit it with a buffer hit it with some compound lightly and then it come out great and uh, something else we done we put the body moldings back on it they were off in their last video i think so yeah they yeah they were off uh, bought an lmc pre-cut moldings for it they went on there fine um we also we tend the windows on it put new regulators in it all new door all rubbers, new, uh, belt moldings. moldings, all the window track. You can buy all that as a kit too. And so, uh, and we also put a flat back glass in it too, which I think looks a lot better than the slider. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a big fan of sliding back glass, but it's just whatever your opinion is. It, on some trucks, they look good, but on this truck, it just it just looks a lot cleaner. Yeah, and then we. Put a set of tail lights in it, just lenses. And the smooth bumper. Yeah, I don't think we had that in the last video. We had a truck that had this bumper on it. We swapped it out. And then, uh, other than that, that's really about all we've done to it. And in case you didn't see, did we show the interior in the other video? I think we did, we'll do it again. Yeah, we'll just show you anyways. But, just dark, what do they call this color? Carmine, something like that? Um, dark red, maroon. Yeah, there's like a maroon, like a burgundy, and then there's more of like a red. I don't remember. This is the burgundy one, but I'm not for sure what the what, specific color yeah, is. What GM actually calls it, but. So, that. Uh, we've had this truck at one show since we've had it done. C10 Nationals in Nashville. First year for the show in Nashville. Yeah, first year for that show. Drove it up there. It was about two and a half hours. It drove fine. No problems. It is LS swapped. If you hadn't seen our first video, where it's a 5.3 4L60. It's got a BTR Stage 3 cam in it. And uh, drove it up there and back. No problems and uh got got close to 20 miles a gallon so can't right, complain right at it i mean you can't complain but anyways c10 nationals great show mm -hmm. uh good turnout what about 800 ish trucks yeah. for the first year so if you're in the area definitely need to go see it and like we said earlier we buffed this truck i mean you can see on the camera i'm sure the hood's got quite a bit of dents in it it's got a bunch of white spots on it um, and this truck is not perfectly straight. It's it's not a show truck. It's it's a driver. 
I mean, for what we're going to do with it, it's fine. Now, a couple of years down the road, yeah, we might go in there and paint it, but I mean, for right now, yeah, right now it's, it's perfect. It's perfect for what we're doing with it. So, all right, as far as what we're going to do to the truck from here on, well, what's next for it? Um, the grill, as you see, is. I mean, the grill looks like crap. It's it's faded, but at least we've got one. It's, if you don't know, these are 83 or 4 GMC grills are, I mean, they're hard to find. Nobody reproduces them aftermarket yet. So. It's actually, I think, the only 80s model grill that they don't reproduce. Yeah, so. Um, so you can't, you pretty much have to use what you've got or fix it anyway. So we're, end up gonna, we're going to end up painting this one which they're just, they're a metallic gray. It's like a flat gray. It's got like a matte look to it. So we're going to end up doing that. As far as everything mechanically on this truck, um, I assume at some point we're going to put a harness on it. I, I another uh, wiring harness because I'm not a big fan of the one they used on here. So I say that about the harness if you watched our first video, I think we told it in there. We didn't. Uh, yeah, I think so. We didn't LS swap this truck. We actually traded for it. It was already swapped. And then we've done everything else to it since then, which we have not touched it mechanically. And so. Uh, uh, other than having it tuned. But yeah, having it other... tuned. And he, our tuner recommended later on possibly swapping the harness on it. So we may do that eventually. Swap harness, computer, and do some other stuff like that. Probably just have the transmission refreshed. Yeah. You know, typical 4L60 problems, but. So, uh, yeah, from that, um, probably going to be running some sort of a digital gauge set up too, eventually. And then. Possibly a custom seat. Yeah, we're we'll probably going to get the seat done. We actually robbed the seat out of our 87K10 over there that it's good and it's just waiting to go to the body shop and get painted. So the seat out of that truck is in here and that seat is right up there. Which we're probably going to take it at some point and get like a custom seat done somewhat for it and uh, have that done. But I mean, as far as that, our next uh, major upgrade, yeah, our next major upgrade on this thing will be brakes, which we have, uh, we'll show you over here. All right, like we said, we're going to be running a brake setup on here, which the front are already disc on those trucks. Uh, the back is drum. We're going to be doing a rear disc conversion, and then we decided to just go ahead and run a set of Wheelwood two piston brakes on it. So we've got the calipers in red. Here's the rotors. We got drilled and slotted rotors for it, front and back. And what we were talking about earlier on the rotor. That's what they had to trim right here, this edge, because the wheel would not clear that. It was The hub was too small to fit over this, so we got all that milled down, and uh, like we said, they, they fit perfect now. And so we're going to be running this wheel wood set up, and uh, we got all that through Little Shop. Which is actually pretty local, so. Yeah, within like two hours from us, so. We'll get into that more though when we actually put them on there. And uh, go to go along with the uh, calipers there, we also have a Wheelwood master cylinder to- uh, Yeah, we're going to rerun the master cylinder, rerun some lines up front. And uh, their proportion valve and all that kind of good stuff to try to get this thing dialed. Yep. Go fast, stop fast. And I really think the uh, these red calipers look good behind those wheels. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, you can't, my opinion, you just can't beat those wheels. Like we said earlier, I just you just can't stop talking about them. So, and then these red, these red wheelwood calipers will complement them well. I think just so look so good behind there. Set them off. So, right, like I said, speaking of wheels and tires, we do have more that just came in the other day for uh, another project we've got in here. As you see, there in the corner over there. Well, this is behind that truck. We're not going to get into them too much yet and uh we've got another set yeah those wheels will be going with these continental extreme contact tires so what are they going on I mean, who knows who knows we'll find out we also have these us mags going on a going on another truck we're doing 
So well, we got a lot of wheels. Also, and tires right now. from wheel four one one. Yeah, Tupelo, we, Mississippi. Um, yeah, these are actually going on one we're doing through the shop. They, them are not going on our truck, one of our trucks. So that's going to be a fun truck to do, though. We'll get to see it come together and. Uh, well, something else, you know, the K5 here behind you, we'll be doing a video on it. Probably after this video. Probably after this one, yeah. Um, kind of a build breakdown. Yeah, kind of breaking down what we've done. It's been in the background, I know, with a lot of these videos, and we've never really talked about it, so it's going to have a video to itself. Hopefully in the next week or so, and then, I mean, that's just about going to wrap this one up. Just about. And if you want to see some pictures from C10 Nationals that the black truck was at, uh go to our instagrams be in the description yeah and so uh you know, i guess with that being said we got a lot more stuff coming up with these trucks a lot of c10 stuff um that's really just about everything we're doing the c10s some somehow related to c10 stuff so if you like it you know be sure to subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next one